Hey guys, I'm Mizzy, and welcome to my guide for Heroic Show of Pride. This is the fourth encounter in the Heroic Siege of Orgrimmar. I'm going to assume that you know the normal mode mechanics for this fight. If you don't, you can check out my normal Show of Pride guide on my YouTube channel. You can click the link in the annotation or in the description section below. Most of the fight is still the same. You have to deal with the mechanics better though than you probably were doing on normal mode. The tanks still have to deal with the wounded pride mechanic and need to tank switch as soon as the tanks get the debuff. Healers still need to dispel the mark of arrogance, and DPS still have to kill the manifestation of pride that spawns, and be sure to interrupt its cast. If you have classes with blanket silences, be sure to use them. When it dies, it still gives the closest two players to it 5 pride. So preferably have the players with the gift of the titan's buff stand closest to it when it's about to die. Swelling pride hurts a lot more, so you need to make sure that you're using cooldowns and or make sure that everyone is at full health. Self-reflection is still cast and you still have to move from it. And finally, people still need to be released from the same prisons. The fight has two new mechanics though, the first being unstable corruption. These are tears that spawn on the floor in the room randomly and they do that every 8 seconds. They'll shoot bolts at random people which can be dodged and getting hit by these bolts will increase your pride by 5 and it will do 350k damage. Because these spawn every 8 seconds they need to be closed. You can do that by walking over the tear. When you do you'll get a debuff called weakened resolve. This prevents you from closing another tear for one whole minute. Although it's anecdotal, it's possible that if you walk over the tear while you have the debuff, you'll die. Now I haven't been able to confirm this yet, so be careful. The second new mechanic is called Banishment. The shot will banish one player into a Pac-Man type realm. The player moves 50% faster and will continuously move forward. If you get hit by the walls or the shot inside who function as ghosts, you will die. You will also take regular damage while in this realm. Now in the physical realm, a corrupted fragment will spawn in your place and this will need to be killed by the rest of your raid. Once it's dead, you will be able to go back to the physical realm. The point is to keep moving around the maze without getting hit until the fragment is dead. Now there are also orbs like in Pac-Man and they're called orbs of light. These will heal you for 50% of your health and make the corrupted fragment take 25% more damage. And this effect stacks. So while the fragment is still alive, your goal is to stay alive while also collecting the orbs. In reality, the fragment should be dead soon after you collect the second orb, or preferably sooner. The best way to do this fight on Heroic is to spread out around the boss, but stay close to him so that your healers can reach everyone. Only move out if you're going to close a tear. Now this is really the crucial part of the fight because you need to keep the amount of tears to a minimum to not be overwhelmed by the amount of missiles you have to dodge. So when you don't have the debuff anymore, be sure to close a new tear. The other reason you want to keep relatively close to each other is so that everyone can reach the corrupted fragment if you get banished to the Pac-Man realm. If you're far away from the group and you get banished, there's a good chance you will die, so try to not to go for a tear when banishment is about to be cast. Be sure to switch to the manifestation and preferably use blanket silences on the first cast to get the manifestation closer to the raid. Lastly, set a group point for players to stack on if they get the gift of the titans, so that they can also get the power of the titans buff. As soon as you get the power of the titans buff, be sure to spread out again so you don't have three times the chance for bolts to be targeted at the same area. Once you reach 30%, you still want to use heroism. And after this, you need to make sure that you still deal with all the mechanics properly, just like you did in the first 70%, because, otherwise you will soon get overwhelmed by the amount of bolts that will be coming at your raid. Now once you have a hang of dealing with the new positioning and the mechanics, you're well on your way to a kill. So good luck. If you liked this video, please comment and subscribe. If you would like to keep up with when new videos come out, and you don't have a YouTube account, you can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter, both of which use the username BBMezzy. For now, I'm Mezzy, and I'll see you again next time.